and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Boo and today we are starting a brand new mini series on my channel today. This series is going to be heavily focused around the new pack coming out, Growing Together, which is obviously how the name of this series was inspired. If you guys were a little bit confused by the intro scene at all, it was basically just setting up the story for you. So this is our main character, Farah. Farah recently graduated high school and during her summer holidays, she actually met somebody called Jack. Jack and Farah hit it off and they basically spent every single day of their little summer holidays together. And right at the end, you may have seen they decided to actually woohoo. Now, it's important to know that Farah comes from a very privileged family. Um, both of her parents are pretty big in the Windenburg scene. They work in real estate. They also work with the council and everything. So they have a lot of pride and they put a lot of that pressure on Farah as well. So when Farah's parents found out that she was pregnant, they decided that they didn't want her in the house anymore. They thought her like teen pregnancy was going to affect their reputation. Obviously Farah is 18, she is an adult, but she just graduated high school so they still think of it as a disgrace. And they essentially told her to pack up her things and to leave. Farah tried to get in touch with the baby's father Jack, but unfortunately she had no luck contacting him. Um, over that period and she's decided to instead move in with her grandma. Now since Farrah left her hometown she has actually cut ties with all of her friends and family that lived there. She has decided to change her surname to her grandma's surname and essentially just start a new life for herself. I think her parents being embarrassed of her kind of have reflected on her a little bit. So she is a little bit embarrassed to reach out to her friends and let them know. So instead she's just decided to start fresh out here in Henford on Bagley with her grandma. So she's been living in Henford on Bagley for a couple weeks now, getting to know the lifestyle. Um, but unfortunately she has not really made any friends at this point and she also isn't working. Vera was at college previously starting to become a doctor. Um, however, since she's left, she's had to drop out and leave that all behind. But let's just look at it as a blessing in disguise because Vera actually never wanted to be a doctor. She was just trying to do what her parents wanted her to do. Um, and she actually wants to become a writer or a teacher. So Potentially this fresh start could mean that she could explore those options. So in this mini series, I am Bobby. hoping just to explore the growing Bobby. together pack and also explore Farah's options for the future. At this point, it is a very open book. I don't really have too much planned and I would love for you guys to help me along the way by giving some suggestions and some input. But for now, I think it's time that we jump into things and begin Farah's new journey. Okay, so first things first, this is the beautiful place we're living in in Hedford on Bagley. It is a beautiful cottage that I got off the gallery. I will pop the ID of the creator on the screen. I did not make this house. I do not have the talent to do so. So this is the house we'll be living in. Um, this house has two bedrooms, one for Farah and one for her grandmother, who you can see now. This is June. So I'll quickly give you guys a little bit of a tour of the house. So this is our front entryway here. Once you come in, there is a little entry hallway, which leads to the living space. We also have a computer here where June likes to do her writing. June, growing up, didn't really have a career. She was a stay-at-home mom until her husband passed away and she took over the estate. However, she does really enjoy writing, which I think where, which I think is where Farah has gotten her passion from as well. And then if we have a look this way, we can come into the kitchen over here. It's very, very cute. So thank you to the creator of this build. And then over here is the little eating area. Heading upstairs, we have two bedrooms. So the first one is June's bedroom. This is where her little bedroom is. And then the second bedroom is on this side. We also have a bathroom here, which I think is absolutely beautiful. I've never thought to pair red and green before, but honestly, it's so bright and so beautiful. So this is their little bathroom. And then lastly, this is Farah's bedroom. So I actually did decorate this bedroom myself. When I downloaded this house, it had no bedroom. It was an empty space. So we've gone ahead and decorated ourselves. However, I like to think that this is potentially um, Farrah's mother's bedroom growing up and we've just kind of redecorated it a little slightly to fit our aesthetic, but I think it's super cute and I hope you guys like it. So yeah, that's the house and I think we're just gonna jump straight into gameplay. So 
I actually have gone ahead and popped on the simple living trait for this series because I thought it was a nice idea to kind of live off the land. Unfortunately, our fridge is completely empty. So the first thing I'm going to do this morning, since we're feeling a little bit hungry, is to go downstairs and order a delivery. So let's go ahead and order a grocery delivery because we want to make all of our own food. And I'm just going to buy some fruit and vegetables. Um, I'll get an egg. I think we can get eggs from the chickens outside and we'll get some meat as well. So I think that will do us. Oh, we can't really afford that. Okay, let me just get one meat then. All right, so basically just spent up all of our money doing the grocery delivery, but Farrah is cooling up now. I don't know why she's in the bathroom doing it, but she's cooling up and ordering a delivery for us this morning. And then after she's done that, I'm actually going to get her to go downstairs and begin doing some gardening and stuff. So it looks like a few of our plants downstairs have actually grown. So we basically can come downstairs and just sell everything and try and make a little bit of money. I think at this point, Farrah is probably going to have to get a part-time job to help around the house because we are feeling very, very poor. But I'm going to spend the first half of this episode kind of, you know, getting into the groove of things and kind of experiencing the Henford on Bagley lifestyle. So she's just doing a little bit of gardening for now. Oh no, she's feeling a bit sicky from the baby. She is currently in her second trimester, almost first trimester still. But when she hits her second trimester, we have to go back to the hospital and get another checkup, another scan. We have some empty garden plots over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase some seeds. Let's go get some vegetables and some fruits as well. Okay, perfect. We've got some potatoes, grapes, some bananas, and some carrots. I think I'm gonna pop the grapes in this one over here and the potatoes over here. And then I'll pop the carrots in the final one over here. Okay, perfect. I don't know why this is glitched out. It's like a carrot and a potato on top of each other. <laughs> um, and then I'm also gonna go ahead and pop the banana tree just on the ground where we can plant it next to our other vegetables. Maybe I'll plant two bananas for now. Um, let's go ahead and plant all of these. She's going to work in the garden for a little bit this morning while she's still in first trimester. You know, exercise is not that difficult for her just yet. So let's go ahead and plant those. Oh, sorry. Looks like the delivery guy is here. So I'll quickly uh, come outside and get the delivery. Wait, I totally missed him. I wanted to say hi to the delivery guy. Is he still here? Oh, it says no one was around. So he left the food. Oh, I'm so sorry. We were really hoping to meet him today and meet some friends. So instead, let's come and unload this delivery bag and pop everything in the fridge. There we go. Everything is in the fridge or her inventory. Um, and I'm also going to pop in the leftover veggies that we got from the garden this morning in the fridge. So our bananas and our potatoes. Okay, don't go ahead and eat the bread. Don't just eat the plain bread. Pop that back. Okay, she's obviously got some sort of bread craving. She's feeling a little bit hungry, but you know what? You know, you can eat your bread. That's fine. I'm going to get June to come inside and do some cooking. So let's see what we can actually make. So we have quite a few options. I think we're probably just going to do a fruit salad um, and we'll do a family size at this point. That seems really refreshing for a beautiful sunny day. And while she's doing that, we're going to come outside and finish doing our planting of the vegetables. At the moment, Farrah is feeling quite flirty. She is just, she has the romantic trait, so she gets flirty quite often, um, but she is on the same wavelength. When Farrah feels close to someone, it's safe to show off their silly side. Time to bring back the inside jokes and funny stories from the past. So I'm not exactly sure who she's referring to because the only person we have romance with is Jack and he is not here. Um, I don't think he even knows where we are at this point, but that's okay. Maybe she saw someone on the TV or something or like she was writing one of her stories and she thought one of the characters was like a total dreamboat. So she's having a bit of a romantic um, chat. Our father is calling us. Uh, he wants to get a new job. Um, a new job? Fantastic. Go for it. So yeah, at this point, our parents like are still in contact with us. They do call every now and then to just see how we're doing. Um, but they haven't managed to find the time to actually come and visit us. So I don't know if that's like saying more than it should, but we're doing all right. We've only been here a couple weeks now and we, you know, this is the best we've kind of felt in a long time. Vera kind of felt previously that it was kind of like wasting her life and her talents on doing things that her parents wanted her to do so even though this baby is definitely not the 
Miracle Wish she asked for. I think it is a blessing in disguise for our beautiful Pharaoh. Okay, it looks like June has finished making the salad. So once we've finished planting, I'm gonna come inside and grab a serving of this one. And then we can pop the rest of it in the fridge for dinner or breakfast tomorrow. We have planted everything and hit gardening level two. Um, and then once we've had something to eat, I'll come out and water these plants. I also just wanna say this is super cute but while i was setting up this episode to begin recording i actually had these two ask each other to be best friends so they're actually best friends now which i think is super super sweet all right we've had our lunch we're just gonna pop our bowl there i think june's gonna probably come and do it okay let's go ahead and scatter some feed nearby and just come and feed the chickens and everything i do want to collect the eggs as well so we'll come and collect the eggs from both of the little coops we've got going on here Oh, June's come out to talk to the little chicken. Oh no, they're starving. Okay, we're going to scatter some feed. That's fine. We're just going to finish watering our plants over here. And oh my gosh, there's a bunny. Wait, I want to try and socialize with it. Can I pet the bunny? Hopefully he'll stay while we go and just feed the chickens. Oh my gosh. Look how cute this little man is. Oh. I really want to become friends with the rabbits. That'd be so cute. Okay, quickly, quickly, Farah, go feed the chickens so we can say hi to the bunny. Okay, chickens have been fed. Perfect. Now we're just collecting the eggs. Okay, eggs have been collected. We collected one chicken egg. And was it hatchable? I don't know. It says it's not hatchable. So we can pop that one straight back into the fridge. Here. Yeah. And now we're coming over to say hi to the bunny, I think. Wait, what are you doing? Why is it in your skirt like that? Oh my gosh, wait. Pat it again, but do it properly this time. That's so cute. Oh my god, look at the little man. He is adorable. I think she really likes this bunny. Talk about veggies with him. Cute. Okay. He's like, you're talking about carrots with me? Oh, he didn't like that. He didn't like that joke. Okay, fair enough. Okay, now that Farrah's finished all of her morning chores, um, she did take a little bit longer than I expected her to, but it's 3 p.m. in the afternoon now. I'm actually going to get her to head into town, um, and we're going to go see if we can, like, make some friends, and we'll bring June along with us. Okay, so we've arrived at the little town square bar with June. So our grandma has been kind of asking us for the last couple of weeks to go outside and spend some time and meet the locals. Unfortunately, we've just been feeling a little bit sorry for ourselves up until this point. But today we woke up and we're feeling amazing. So we decided to actually come down to the local bar with June and we're going to come in and meet some of the locals at the bar. So let's go see who is here. All right, so this looks like the bar keeper, the bar, the pub owner, Sarah. So let's come inside and introduce ourselves to her. We'll do a respectful introduction, and I think June is probably going to come in and say hi and get herself a drink or some food. Um, why don't we order ourselves a drink for the group? But we'll just get some sparkling water because, well, June's a bit of an oldie. She really wants to look after her health, so she's not super crazy on the alcohol and we're obviously pregnant so we won't be drinking um but it's happy hour so we're gonna get some cheap stuff and i think june probably knows all of the locals so she'll probably introduce us to most of them she doesn't like thomas which i think is weird we do know thomas i think yeah we do know thomas but i don't know why we don't like him i guess we'll ask him about his day maybe they're like arch rivals in the the egg competition or something but i'm gonna get farrah to also make her way around and just introduce herself to everyone so let's come say hi to thomas and just introduce herself as june's granddaughter and let him know that we're moving into town oh no 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 oh no she wet herself oh my gosh i did not keep an eye on her knees and she wet herself don't worry honey i'll just quickly pop that one back up because i totally should have sent her to the bathroom but i didn't let's just pretend that never happened um Okay, and let's go ahead and say hi to Thomas. And then with Sarah, I think we can offer to help with some errands. So we're telling him we just moved into town um, and he says he thinks we're creative and he likes us, which is nice. But because we don't have a job yet, I am gonna just have a look and see what errands we can help with. So there's three that we can do. This one is the most, uh, like pays the most. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do this one. Hopefully it's nothing too crazy. All right, so we need to deliver order and drink a Bagley Fizz sampler and deliver a blueberry, raspberry, and chocolate 
to the pub owner. Okay, we can definitely work on that. At the moment, we don't really have any money to spare to buy anything, so I'm going to have to go around town and see if we can actually find anything, which is going to be a little bit difficult, but over here is the town square. Oh, okay, so there's some friends over here that we can potentially meet. We have Cecilia. Come say hi. And then this is... Priscilla. So this is a sim I actually made for a challenge on YouTube. Um, I have added a couple of my sims into the game, so we'll see if we can come and say hello. I don't know why I can't introduce myself to her. Is it because I've got too many people stacked up on here? Maybe we're already talking to her. Okay, we can say hi now. So come say hi to these guys because they're probably the most similar in age to, to us. So it's good to find some other people our age. Oh no, wait, why don't we... Anti-crush? Oh my gosh. Well, you don't have to have a crush on Cecilia to be friends with her. Why don't we discuss our latest book and be like, oh, it's so nice to meet other people that are our age in the town. Oh, should we share our pregnancy news with our new friends that we're making? Okay, there's another sim over here, Jasmine. We'll come say hi. So this is another sim that I put, like, just had in the gallery, and it looks like she spawned in town as well. So this is Jasmine. Um, again, same color hair. I must have a preference for this color hair, but we're gonna come say hi to Jasmine and see how she's doing. I think we did a respectful introduction, so hopefully we'll we'll say hi. It's good to meet you. We are new to Hanford on Bagley, so if you ever want to hang out. Like, let me know. I'm looking for some new friends. She seems really nice. We don't really have any sentiments about her so far, but it's nice to meet some new people because we'll probably need some friends in the future. But it's getting a little bit late, so I'm going to send both June and Farah back home, and I'm going to see if we can make a little bit of money because we have to buy these berries for the pub owner, but we have zero simoleons, so... A little bit of an issue, huh? Okay, so we finished making this small hoop. I was going to keep it for the baby. I think I'm actually going to have to go ahead and sell that for a little bit of money. So we've made some money now. Um, we're feeling really hungry. I'm going to come grab some leftovers from the fridge, which is the salad that June made this morning. And then I'm going to send us straight to bed because we're feeling pretty tired. Um, we're also in our second trimester in 36 minutes. So tomorrow we're going to go ahead and head to the doctor and get that ultrasound done. And I think we're probably also going to try and find out the gender of the baby we're having. Um, yeah, I think Farah would like to know. So we'll ask the doctor tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's a little bit chilly today. So we've popped on our cold weather, but Farah's up nice and early getting her daily chores done. I think she's decided to wake up extra early this morning because she's very excited about seeing her baby again today on the ultrasound. And we probably wanted to get our chores out of the way so we could go ahead and head over to the hospital as soon as June is up this morning. Um, what is she doing now? She wants to go view this paint easel. Do you wanna, do you wanna paint? Is that what we're, is that what we're looking at or what's going on? But since none of these plants are needing anything right now, I think we can probably go ahead and get some cooking done this morning. So let's go ahead and make some breakfast. Um, I will do eggs on toast today and we'll just do a family size since we don't need eight servings of this, but let's go ahead and get ourselves some eggs on toast. Yeah, she's looking so happy today. I'm really happy for her. Oh, she likes cooking. Yes, of course. Sounds good. All right. How's June? Probably get June up out of bed now as well. She is still sleeping, but she can probably get up, have a shower and use the toilet and then go downstairs and grab some food. So let's go ahead and get your needs up, June. Okay, there we go. Let's give ourselves a serving. And then once June is out of the shower, she can come grab some as well. Um, and yeah, we're feeling, we're just feeling super, super ecstatic today. We literally are so happy about this pregnancy and we're also happy about the sustainable cooking and now we're just going to be bopping our heads to the music which is nice okay perfect all right i'm just going to double check what's left in the fridge i don't think we need to do another delivery today okay everything's looking pretty good thank god um but i think we probably will have to do another delivery probably at the end of the week so I do want to try and get as much money as possible I am thinking about getting Farah to get a part-time job so I think we're just going to browse and see what's available I'm not a hundred percent set on her getting a job at this at this stage but I would like to see what is available there are a few options um I don't really want to be 
a babysitter. I, we could be a barista. I don't know, nothing really suits my fancy. The only other thing I probably would do is the freelance career. But again, it kind of just, ugh, I don't know how I feel about that. I think there is a career where you can, instead of actually getting a proper job, you can register with the Ministry of Labor. So maybe we'll do that instead. I don't know exactly what this means. I think it just means that we are making like money from home. And if she is writing books, then I'm sure she could publish them to some websites. Yeah, so I think we're gonna go ahead and just be like um, be a self-published author. And I'm gonna go ahead and just assign that as our job for now. Um, and I guess, let's just see, how is how is June doing? What has she got in here? Oh, she's got some fertilizer. Where did she get that from? Really now, can I fertilize the plants or are we gonna have to just do that in the large vegetables? Okay. Well, I mean, I'm glad she's gotten herself a job as some sort. Um, it looks like June's up and she's had some breakfast, so I think I'm gonna get these guys to head off to the hospital now. So let's go ahead. All right, we're just heading inside now to get our ultrasound. It's just down this hallway in the back room, so we're heading on over. June's just gonna be waiting outside for us while we get this done. Um, I don't think we're gonna keep the gender a surprise. I think we do want to find it out, so we're coming over and I'm hoping she is gonna be all set to go. Um, yeah, let's, let's see how this goes. Okay, perfect. So the obstetrician is now just talking us through We're inside can try Mesta. So she's just having a look and seeing what's inside. She's like, oh, there's the little baby. Can you see its ears? Can you see its fingernails? Oh my gosh, we're so shook. We're like, oh my gosh, it's so much bigger than last time we were here. Looks like there's more than one in there, honestly, but I don't think she's having twins. Must be a big baby. <laughs> I think she's probably telling us what we need to know now about it. And how are we feeling? Okay, we have our clothes back on. So, did we get any... <gasps> okay, congratulations, you're pregnant based on the ultrasound. It looks like you're expecting one healthy baby. Everything looks good so far, but we'll continue to monitor your pregnancy and the baby's development to make sure everything's on track. This is an exciting time. We're here to support you every step of the way. And we, the Ultrascan shows that you're having a healthy baby girl. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're having a baby girl. That's very exciting. Um, I wonder if we can come outside and show June. Where is she at? I think she's it's over here. What are you doing in this room? Okay, let's come over and see if we can show the ultrasound like we did last time. Share pregnancy news. We've already shared our pregnancy news, but I want to show her the ultrasound. So hopefully she'll come and do this. And I think we're going to show it to her now. <gasps> oh my gosh. We're expecting a girl. Oh, they're both very excited about that. She's showing off the old little ultrasound to her. Oh, I'm sure she's happy about that. I think Farah is super happy that she's expecting a girl. All right. See, that trip wasn't so bad after all. Let's head back home, guys. So I popped the last ultrasound on the wall here. I'm going to move it up one with the frame. I don't know why it's doing that. And then I'm also going to go ahead and pop this one on the wall. So this is our second one. Buy a picture frame for that. Oh, cute. It's pink. Go is it because it's a girl. Okay. So this is our original ultrasound of trimester one. And then this is trimester two. So look how big our baby has gotten. That's so cute. I'm going to get her to come upside, come upstairs and view this baby frame. Um, you can actually go ahead and name the baby, but unfortunately we don't have a name picked out just yet because we just found out we're having a girl. So we'll have to have a bit of a think and see what we want to call her. Oh my gosh, why are there chickens inside the house? Hello? What are you doing in here, chicken? Interesting. Okay. So here we are. We're both upstairs and we're just viewing it now. And I think we're super, super happy. Yeah, literally already in love. Farah can sometimes feel her baby kicking around in her belly, but it's another thing to finally see them on the screen. Farah is filled with joy at the sight of her baby and is feeling a sense of amazement and awe at the miracle of life. She can hardly wait to meet her child. Oh, I'm so happy for her. Perfect. Good on you. So now that she's gone ahead and had her second trimester ultrasound, I think that June is probably going to tell Farah, you know, now that you've made a couple of friends in Henford, why don't you go ahead and actually plan a little bit of a baby shower? Um, I'll invite some of my friends and then, you know, this is just 
one way to actually get closer with some of the locals and since I know a lot of people I'm sure they'll come around for some good food and company so why don't we make a little bit of an event pop up around town and we can hold a little baby shower at our place so so I think we're actually super stoked about that idea and we would love to hold a baby shower um, I think we probably will hold the baby shower once we hit trimester three and we'll just take the second trimester pretty chill we're literally in trimester three in 11 hours so we actually don't have to wait that long at all so we probably could have a baby shower this weekend but I'm actually gonna go ahead guys and end this episode here so I just wanted to thank you all so much for watching today's episode and I hope you liked it next episode will be out once we have the new infant drop and the new growing together pack has come out I did see that there is a new event that we can do which is a baby shower so that's the reason I haven't got ahead and actually had this baby in this first part of this episode so the second episode will be exploring that option and also some birthing options potentially um, and then hopefully we will get to experience the infants which we're all super excited about but I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode thank you so much for watching if you are new here don't forget to give this video a like and also subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one bye